Unreal 5 was just announced and in this video we're going to be talking about why it's so awesome. Alright, welcome back. Before we start this video, I want to make sure that you like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribers we get, the more content we can make. It wouldn't mean a lot to you, but it would mean a lot to me if this video got a thousand likes. So please smash that like button. Remember that this channel doesn't do a Patreon and said we sell our digital products down below. The more money we get from the content that you buy below, the more content we can make. All right, so let's talk a little bit about Unreal 5. Now, one of the most popular videos on this channel is the comparison between Unity 5 and Unreal. If you haven't checked that out, please check it out right now. In that video, I mentioned that I personally like Unreal. Now, to be clear, Unity is a very good engine. If you like using it, then keep on using it. However, the news that has come out of Epic Games is absolutely amazing. So if you haven't already seen the tech demo, please check it out right here. It is incredible. There's also a lot of videos that are explaining the technology behind that, but I'm gonna go over the base points right here. So first of all, the current version of the Unreal Engine is Unreal 4. Now, I've been using Unreal since Unreal Engine 3, and Unreal Engine 4 is actually really awesome. And I cannot wait until Unreal 5 is going to get released. It's not going to get released till 2021, but I'm very confident as soon as it gets released, I am definitely going to be using it quite a bit because what they just announced is absolutely amazing. Now, the current version of the Unreal Engine is 4.25, and in this version, they're going to be using a lot of the same concepts, except Unreal Engine 5 is going to take those concepts to the max. So in version 4.25, there's gonna be next-gen support that is the PlayStation 5 and the Microsoft X, and there's gonna be a whole bunch of new features. I'm currently using the Unreal Engine 4.25, and it's absolutely amazing. So let's talk a little bit about what makes the Unreal 5 engine so good. So one of the things that has been a huge problem with game development for many, many years is the fact that you have to basically optimize your art for game engines. If you look at old games, a lot of this art had to be optimized and a lot of time and money had to be spent just to get that art into the game. And this has been a thing ever since 3D games have come out. And even today, you can't just do anything and then put it into an engine. So Unreal 5 changes everything. So in Unreal 5, they're going to be introducing Nanite and Nanite is is a system that will allow you to basically use as much geometry in a level as possible. And you can look at some of the tech demos. This is the amount of polygons in a scene. Now, the more polygons you have, the more computing power it's going to take. And because computers are so good, you can see that this is now possible. Now, I didn't even think this was possible two days ago, but it, apparently it is, and this is absolutely mind blowing because the amount of triangles in this little scene right here is often more than what you would see in an entire game in the past. So the amount of polygons here is incredibly important because now you can have incredibly detailed scenes as you can see with all of this footage here. The other thing that Unreal 5 is going to add is Lumen, and Lumen is global illumination. Light is really important, so if there's really two things about making a 3D game look good, it is the models and the light. Now the light is really important because the more realistic the light is, the more detail that you can get out of it. Now, one of the things that Unreal did a little while ago was purchase Megascans. Now, Megascans is a company that made hyper-realistic rocks and art assets to be put into the Unreal Engine. And since they bought Megascans out, what they did is they basically have this huge pipeline of super-realistic art assets. Mostly these art assets are environment assets. So there are two kinds of mega scans assets. There's mega scans for games, which are very high quality, and there's mega scans for movies, which is even higher quality. All these things that you're looking at in the tech demo are the higher resolution movie quality assets. And this is incredible because before it would lag your system quite a bit to use these assets. And now apparently you can do it in real time, which is absolutely amazing. So in addition to Lumen and Nanite, there are going to be lots and lots of improvements to the current systems that are already in Unreal 4, such as the Chaos, Physics and Destruction Engine, Niagara VFX, and a bunch of particle effects as well. This is all improved, and if you look at the bats in the tech demo, you can see how amazing particles are going to be. Another thing that's going to be launched is Epic Online Services. So if you wanna make any kind of multiplayer game or have any kind of network support, 
the top level services are going to be available to everyone. And this is absolutely amazing because when it comes to those backend services, it is quite expensive to do on your own. Now, Epic is allowing you to use those services. This is absolutely incredible. So let's talk about the number one thing that is amazing about Unreal Engine 5. And this is absolutely amazing. I can't even believe that this is happening. But what's going to happen is that the Unreal 5 engine is going to be free. And this is 100% free for the first million in revenue. Now, I remember when an Unreal license cost amazing amount of money, now it's free on the first million of revenue. Now, this is incredible because so many developers are going to flock to the Unreal Engine because this is an incredible amount of saved money. Because when you develop your game, it could take two months or two years, and you don't want to be paying money during that time. You want to be developing it. And if you're going to be using the best engine out there, this is an incredible step forward. So to conclude, I am very excited about the Unreal Engine 5. In fact, I love the Unreal Engine so much that I cannot wait until 2021 when it gets released. So that concludes this video. I wanna know your thoughts. Please post your thoughts down below. Remember to like and subscribe and smash that like button to make us more popular in the YouTube algorithm. Remember that this channel doesn't do a Patreon said we sell our digital products down below. The more money we get from the content that you buy below, the more product we can make. If you really like this channel, you can subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We have monthly and yearly options. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new e-learning content per month. We have everything from Blender tutorials to Unreal tutorials to machine learning tutorials and much, much more. It is the best way to help out this channel. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. Not only do you make this YouTube channel possible, but you make Mammoth Interactive possible. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in another video.